Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering Agent Smith. He made his first appearance in The Matrix movie that was released by Warner Brothers and Village Roadshow Pictures in March of 1999. He also later just goes by plain old Smith and is played by the actor Hugo Weaving, standing six feet two inches tall, weighing 165 pounds, also having blue eyes and brown hair. Now, as an agent of the Matrix, Smith had all of the abilities of other agents, including a few extra ones. Having low-level superhuman strength and durability, being able to lift around 10 tons, as well as having at least mid-tier superhuman speed and agility, being able to attack in a blur, as well as dodge bullets. Not to mention that Smith was slightly stronger and faster than the other agents. He also had the ability to commandeer or possess any blue pill human that was plugged into the Matrix, as well as expressing a degree of reality warping, being able to initiate certain changes in the environment around him, such as the form of a human's mouth. Now, when Agent Smith became an exile from being unplugged from the system, his abilities in their final form would be significantly higher, easily having mid-tier superhuman strength, being able to lift around 20 to 25 tons at this point, while also having slightly higher durability, speed, and agility. Although instead of just being able to jump extreme distances, Smith would be able to literally fly after he absorbed the Oracle and took her powers. Now, he was even able to do this because as an exile, he could replicate himself by jabbing his hand into the chest of a blue pill or red pill human or a program, which would completely overwrite their personality and appearance. At least in most instances, although he arguably did not completely overwrite the Oracle's code or Sati, the latter being a childlike program that was in charge of the weather for Mega City. Matter of fact, at his end state, Smith had the ability to not only see the future and manipulate the weather, but he was easily considered equal in power to the series' protagonist, Neo, and was a nearly overwhelming force to be reckoned with. Now, Agent Smith was initially a program of the system that was put in place to take out any potential threat to the stability of the Matrix, such as red pill humans and faulty programs. He was initially a very stoic and professional, yet harsh personality, having a peculiar manner of speaking, which was signified by having odd pauses at certain places in his sentences, and always calling Neo Mr. Anderson. And although he kept his signature Desert Eagle, he didn't always have to use it, at times seeming to relish brutalizing his human quarry with his bare hands. Now, this shouldn't be a surprise, because as the movies progressed, we'd see Smith slowly start to reveal his resentful side, candidly stating his disdain for not only humans, who he described as a virus, but for the so-called zoo of the Matrix itself, hating being stuck within it with us. Smith was clearly the leader of his fellow agents and had the authority to do things like launch sentinel attacks in the real world, but his quote-unquote real world influence wouldn't end there. Because after he and his code was seemingly destroyed by Neo at the end of the first Matrix movie, we would see that Smith was actually just liberated and became a free agent, not being part of the machine system anymore and having a few new abilities, such as possessing the real world body of the red pill human Bane, then wreaking quite a bit of havoc before being discovered. But from here, we would see Smith become more and more the antithesis of Neo, aka the One, with Smith becoming the Many and having the sole purpose of completely taking over and destroying the system. His spread as a virulent computer virus would almost accomplish this, not only absorbing nearly everything and everyone in the system, but even taking over the bodies and abilities of powerful programs such as Seraph, Sati, and the Oracle, like I stated earlier. And although, ironically, Smith would become more human-like in his interactions and rage-filled outbursts as he got more and more powerful, he would eventually be defeated by Neo allowing himself to be beaten and overwritten, which seemed to be a secret plan of the Oracle in the first place, and finally allowed there to be peace from the system being rebooted. Now, for his powers and abilities and his influence on the Matrix universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Agent Smith a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.